All right, let's start it up. We are back in the game of Deceiving. We're playing Hans here today. We're on Hard Cell, which might be a good map for Hans. We're kind of in a lot of close rooms, though we're outside right now. But, uh, oh, I'm not going to make it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, I made it. And nuts. <laughs> no gamble box, even better. Because there's not enough in here, hell in here to get it. All right. All right, important stuff. Uh, today, the day I'm recording this, not the day you're seeing this, is Deceive's birthday. So happy Deceive's birthday. Um, I kind of missed it on the day of because I don't know how scheduling videos <laughs> works. Um, but uh, happy to see belated Deceive's birthday. It would be uh, yesterday um, at the time you're seeing this. Um, and uh, well... Nothing in-game overly special happened. I didn't, I mean, didn't see or hear of anything, really. There's some community events going on. If you're in the official Discord, you can find them there. I'm not going to do a link to that or anything, but it's there's, there's literally a button in the game uh, that takes you right to it. If you have any interest in those, um, find it in the community events section. Okay, and we're on Silver Reef. There's already a fight. We're not on so Why did I just say Silver Reef? Oh boy. It's like I wanted to be on Silver Reef. <laughs> One hard cell. Gray safe to our right. We can't really get because it doesn't connect right here. Hang on. And probably head up to E. Gray safe on the area up there. Yeah. We have trip wires here because we're playing Hans with passive two. So whenever Hans breaks someone's cover with his passive two, they get slowed. Um. So, including tripwires. So if we put the tripwires in a spot, someone's going to hit them, then, uh, well, then, uh, <laughs> they, they're going to get slowed. That, that's what it is. Okay, a little bit of a bloodbath over here. Nothing too weird. This is a little playery. Just vaguely. Oh, Okay. Okay, someone had a really tough time with the guards up here. I want to throw these trip wires. I like these ones. They're a little high and really hard to uh, see. You can duplicate this on the other side, but I don't know if it's as, as effective. Um, Gray safe, that's what I said on the balcony. Kind of gives us some cover there. Knowing that that's not a player, although one of them might be. Looks like one of them may have been. Gotta go through the other one, madam. Alright, we didn't even need to follow up with the melee. Oh, but now we have to hack this door. But it was worth... Talk about the passive first, so let's talk about the expertise next. That's the cage. We haven't used it yet, but we have E2, the static cage, I believe it's called. And what that does is it makes a wall around us, like a circle, like a cage even. And uh, <laughs> if someone passes through that wall, they get neutralized and slowed. It's the same effects that are on your orb, your E1, but it's just like in a cage. And I like this one, honestly, not as much as the orb, but it has one big advantage. And that's that it's an, it's an instant, it's called, which means as soon as I hit the button, it goes off. Don't have to switch to a stance like you do with the E1 and then throw it as a separate click. It just happens, which is really nice. Um, one important thing I like to call out about this one, it happens with the orb too, but this one's really easy to get it to happen on. If there's a Lousen in the cage and they poof and they touch the wall while they're invisible, um, they go re-visible. Oh, someone knows about the trip wires. Broke all four, it looks like. I don't even think they hit them. They just knew. I mean, they're not... They weren't the best hidden. They were okay. But uh, they could have been a little bit better in that same spot. I mean, they could have been a little more hidden in the plants in that same spot. But it does look like they broke all four. Let's just make sure that they're all broken. Or maybe they didn't. But I have all broken them all now. Maybe they only broke one. I guess that meant four was out and I was a bit confused. Um, but that doesn't mean there's a someone nearby, right? No, they're back in cover now. Okay, this is an interesting thing that I'm going to call out. We know this uh, VIP right here is a Sasori, and we know it because they're not poisoned. <laughs> they were standing in a poison bubble, not poisoned, and the only character that can be in a Sasori bubble and not be poisoned 
is the Sasori who put the poison down. So, yeah, kind of cool thing you can do there that Sasori may not have known. You don't necessarily get a perfect cover on Sasori like that. Um, and then let's talk about the weapon, finally. Uh, we got weapon three here, the shotgun arm. I mean, all of Hans's weapons are shotgun arms. He's, he's known for his shotgun arm, even. And this is the weapon two. We get two shots before we have to reload it. But as you can see, they come out quite quickly. And all we have to do is hit both. And they do 45 damage each, which will total up to 90. And then you see me throw out that quick melee. I do this basically every single time. I'm going to leave. It's not the guy walking at us because we know that that is uh, the, the they they finished hacking while we were in there, so it wasn't the guy walking at us. Can we find them though? We cannot. They have left. That's okay. Hmm. Be on our best behavior here for a moment while that one guard continues to make me paranoid. But I think we should just be on our way now. And can we see anyone in here? No, they could be way ahead of us. All right. Uh, so yeah, we we talked about the 45, 45. Hey, someone's doing exactly what I'm doing. That's the Hans thing. That's what happens to other people, except we're the guy this time. We're the one it's happening to. Ow. Ow. Oh boy. Oh jeez, that was so close. I'm gonna upload this as a game one. I don't always, but like, we came second to a Hans who did exactly what we did, which is a good showing for the build. So, I really have no complaints. I could have maybe not continued to push forward once I heard the, uh, the printer probably would have been right, get some cover back. But it was a pretty good game. We showed off a lot of cool little techniques. And of course, we'll do a game two here. I'm going to click play right now even. And, well, we'll see what happens in our game two. Kind of sucks to lose that one. But uh, could have played it a little better there at the end. So I'll see you in a moment for game two. All right, we are back for game two. We're on Sound Eclipse here. Sound Eclipse is a newer map, and I don't know if I've ever had tripwires on this map. So I don't know where to put them. Uh, we're just going to put them places. Wow, not a lot of intel in here, but honestly, bonds. Um, just just hold that door for a minute. I think, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, okay. Might check the last one just in case. Ah, just food. And they closed the door on me. Bit unfortunate. I kind of want enough to use the gamble box, but I also just want to go to A. Let's do some combat over at A. A always has early game combat. Didn't take my disguise, okay. Someone was uh, maybe not here, right? This door could have been open. Um, just leave it, I guess. If a cav comes by, a cav comes by. Is that um, it? inspiring. I mean, efficient design. Miss somebody heading in, but unknown if they are. Let's see if these fools. Find that doesn't it. connect. Hang on. There we go. That was the issue. It was behind the the doors are a little weird. Okay. Nope. Sounds like there's combat outside. Okay. No gamble box in this one, unfortunately. And well, got a lot of intel. I'm hoping when someone opens that door, it doesn't break the tripwire. But that's a thing that absolutely can happen. Hack our way through here. Should have put one on the other door. 
All right, well, that was the uh, shot shot melee combo in action right there. It was even a little slow because I had to re-aim the second shot. Uh, Madam has spotted us. Okay, so I can. I like that you can use gadgets while you're uh, hacking here. It's one of those things you can do, unlike scope in. Uh, we've got no blue next. Oh, so I just assumed that was a player because we saw a, uh, a dead guard on the ground, and yeah, it, <laughs> it was it was most somewhat a guess, but like, why wouldn't it have been a? <laughs> oh, oh, let's see, if this guy does the same thing to us. Nope. Works for me. All right, I think. Um, either they wiggled and I didn't notice, or they didn't wiggle. I might have been bumping around me. We're gonna break those trips new A. Yeah, there's not a ton of spots I can think of to put them. Like, between the zones, those those tunnels might be okay, but they're kind of two ways, so there's not really a great spot to put them. But could just put them on this side. Maybe we'll do that, see if we get anybody. The way I kind of like to use trips, I don't think I said this in game one, but um, there's kind of two ways. Either, like, move them with you, or uh, you just kind of put them in spots people will hit them, which is what I like to do and cause a little chaos around the map. Those connect? Yeah. So there we go. Now if anyone's coming from there to here, they will uh, hit those. Shouldn't be able to see them real well. Okay. Normally I'd say, if that was a goat, I would have shot them, but it was a staff. <laughs> We don't have... Oh my gosh, we caught someone. Oh boy, and we fell almost to our death. Not to our death, but you know. Um... Yeah, well, we caught someone. They didn't really seem like they got slowed, though, did they? They were moving pretty quick. Um, but we know it works. Do we see anyone doing that. anything? No? No one's entering at all? Not I'm Hans and can't do much about it, but like... Oh, key card. I see it. Um, yikes. It, it's fine. Nobody, nobody cared. Okay. Wait, why can't I grab... I'm poisoned so I can't grab the poison vial? It's gonna get me killed, also. <laughs> it's actually gonna get me killed that I can't use the poison, can't pick up the poison vial while I'm poisoned. Okay, it's not gonna get me killed, fine. I know, but like, chill for a moment, I have 3 HP. Oh, I didn't have to change disguises. <laughs> okay, we made it out with 3 HP. <laughs> we just we just fall heal and then we worry about a printer. We just had to get out of there. I spent too much time looking at a health file I couldn't pick up, but I guess it counts as an interaction, even though none of the other pickups do, but hmm. Alright, the exciting sitting time. And let's go. You're gonna have to kill an Octo sooner or later. Let's head up. Oh, never mind. We don't have to go too far, do we? Another one on the other side of that wall. No way. You don't already have a key card, do you? Yeah, they do. Guess I can get in behind them. Shoot. Ah. Uh. They didn't have a purple key card. There's no way. You you know I'm Hans, so there's no way you push into me here. Well, I guess you could open the door with the spyglass. But... Alright, let's head off. Damn, I should have maybe just opened fire. Um, I'm being shot. I don't have the package, but I know it looks like I do, so I get it. I get it, I'm just not happy about it. I 
this door opens, I'm just gonna start blasting. Okay. All right, more sitting, more sitting. We knew there was a madam. Um, I assume it's an Octa with the package. We are kind of stuck healing as much as I would like to be part of this, whatever is happening down there. Let's go. Um, that main floor probably, like middle section? But it could have been the one we just left. It is, I think it's the one we just left. Oh, it's not. Oh, we had to, we missed? Okay, I think he either got stuck or he gave up. Wait, someone has my gold key code. Give me. <laughs> Did you also have health files? Where do those end up? Are you coming down? You were close, okay. All right, let's do this. Eh, probably not a great disguise switch, but here we go. Not quite sure where they ended up, but we're on our way out of here. Should probably break these, they're not really doing much where they're at. Alright, let's head out. Oh, I want this disguise though. There we go, okay. On our way. Do you want intel? Do you have HP? I want these tripwires back too, because if I can get them back, they're gonna cause a slow effect. If I can put them on a door, I know they're gonna come through, like this one here. Then we'll do great. Uh, that's too wide, isn't it? Yeah, yeah whatever. I don't have time for it. Ping on the point. Ah, uh, they're lower. I was gonna run and put one lower, but... This is them in the blue. Ah, unfortunate. Oh boy, we missed! There's another player? Alright, I never saw a second player. Maybe I just never looked, but that happens sometimes, I guess. I didn't look around enough. <laughs> we did okay, our tripwires did okay. Uh, definitely could have been better, but uh, that is our Hans games. <laughs> was it an Octo? I do want to know. I don't actually know what shot us. I think it was another Octo. It was a Madam. GG's to the Madam. Um, yeah, that was it went okay. I just never saw a second person, so I thought it was a 1v1. So totally my bad. Could have done that better. Didn't look around enough once we were out of the vault and uh, didn't didn't play as if there was two people. I would have played it very differently. But uh, thanks for watching. Do comment on your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for daily deceiving content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.